Let's try and have a look at how we create something. So I'm in my create again in the service gateway. Again, notice how simple it is because we're using these interfaces, these contracts. I just know what I have to implement, but I can do it step by step. I can even, let me show you this. So now I'm going to do the create here, right? And again, this is the same as we did with, uh, with the read, right? The only difference is now we're going to do post as JSON instead of get as JSON. So again, you can read the type right here if you're posting, getting, putting, or deleting. And then we send in the URL again, that's the same, and then the actual object from here that we want to post. And we could call it wish instead of t. That might make sense, so I'll just name it to wish instead of t. Now, when we've sent this post, just like we did with Postman, we wait for the result. If the result is good, then we just read the thing we get back. So let's try and do this with Postman again. I'll just do a post, where is it? There it is. Create a new wish, put in the body, add bird, 22 and with a date and I'll do a send and I get a response back of the actual bird created. Whee! Let's do the same now from our application. So let's just run it here. So I'm inside the wishes one. I'm going to create a new wish. I'm going to call it uh, tube of glue. I don't even know why. But let's put in a date. It's a very bad date picker right now. Doesn't matter. Oh, 20 is not good. Let's just put in this date, I'll do a create, and I'll hit my breakpoint on the back end. There we go. Now, this time it's inside the create wish, inside the wish gateway, and uh, I'm going to do post as JSON, where before we did a read as JSON, right? Or a get as JSON, right? So that's the only difference. So I'm going to send some JSON to the back end, and the JSON I'm going to send is actually the wish that I'm sending in here as, notice here's the date, here's the name, here's an ID, which is zero because I'm creating right now, and there are no wishes. So this does the exact same thing that we did when we got some information back before. It converts this time from C-sharp into JSON instead of from JSON into C-sharp. And then sends a request to the backend uh, right here. It gets a response back at some point, And that response, we're going to read that response, which is in our case probably going to be something here saying um, tube of glue and new date. And then we're going to send that back. But in our case, when I do a continue, we're just going to get to the overview page. Let's just hope that things work there right now. So I'll just do continue, see if it works. Get back to the overview play page, and here's your tube of glue and your bird. Now, I still don't have a delete, so I cannot click delete right now. But you have Postman. That's awesome. So I can actually go into Postman, and I can just delete number five. And it's gone. I can also look at what wishes we have available right now. Let's just look. I think it was the bird I just deleted. Yeah. I also want to delete... Oh, sorry, I want to also delete the bird. So let me just go and delete the bird as well. My point is just that you can delete everything you want here from this. The bird should be gone now. Let's go and look at all the wishes again. There we go. Now the bird is also gone. The glue is actually seven. Sorry about that. Let's delete the glue just to get that out of the way as well. So you can combine the two. Use the postman to test the posture you haven't implemented yet. That's awesome. So let's end it for now. Let's look at the delete, the read one, and the... Um, Update.